Hey, Dad. It's 9.30. I just wanted to give you a call. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you when you get here. All right. Love you. Bye. So every night I call my dad at around 9.30 just to say hello and catch up on my day, but also to make sure he's up and he's getting ready to go to work. He works the overnight shift, so he works 11 at night to 7 in the morning. And pretty much just when everyone files out of the GSU, he cleans up, uh, waxes the floors, and just makes sure it's clean for the next morning. Pretty much because my dad works here is the only reason my sister and I were able to go to a school like BU. And to have someone come from a small village in Portugal where he couldn't go to high school even, and to watch his two kids go across BU stage and get a diploma, it means the world to me that he works that hard to let us do it. Sounds good. Okay. I'll talk to you. Right. I love you. Be nice. I love you too. Right. When I came to work at BU, my big thing is like, Let's see if my kids make to be you. If you ask me if I want to change something in my life, I go back to school. You want to do something with your kids you never have the experience before. This is stuff my father never had the chance to do with me. He's like my big friend and, and, and uh, yeah, best friends. Best friends. One who go out is like uh, where two brothers, you know. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do with them is go to this Portuguese restaurant in Cambridge called Casa Portugal. It's a super small place, but the food is incredible. And I've been going there with him ever since I was a kid, so to be able to still go with him now and talk about school or talk about relationships or anything that's going on over a good meal is just kind of like a lifeline that I'm really lucky to have. We talk about everything. I'm very open to Andrew. Andrew is very open. See, this is one thing I don't grow up like that. So, uh, I'm very proud. I've learned a lot through these four years by having my dad so close. I think the biggest thing was just to work hard. Uh, whether that's you being an employee or a student, a friend, you just you stay true to yourself and you work hard. I think what's so special about him is his work ethic and his, and his ability to be kind and treat everyone with a smile. Sometimes bust a joke to make the work go a little bit easier. <laughs> I don't make a joke. Like, I'm 10 years in BU, and so my friends is like 20 plus, and we never graduate. <laughs> When I walk across that stage, I think the first thing that's gonna come in my head is all the hard work he had to do to put me through school. All the early mornings, all the double shifts, all the big setups, just all the thankless work he had to do. I just wanna say thank you for everything. And even when I do say thank you, it's, it, no thank you ever amounts. I know that if he was in my shoes, he would be busting his butt to make the most of the opportunity. So I owe it to myself and I owe it to him especially to try my hardest and be the best man I can be. I love you. Thank you. I love you.